What is going on guys, Winter Run Boxing? We are working. Those fights last night were amazing. Great fights, great fights for the sport of boxing. But, great robbery. I'm gonna dive right into this. I'm not even gonna say subscribe to my channel, I'm just gonna dive right into this. El Raya versus Chris Colbert. What the hell was that? Straight up robbery. I mean, Chris Colbert got dropped in the first round. I mean, don't get me wrong. He had his moments. And the fighter was hurt was Chris Colbert. El Rayo was too strong for him. The only thing about El Rayo is that he let go of the gas pedal. And that's what kind of made it lean towards the judges. But, hey, man, it was a, a self-explanatory win. El Rayo was supposed to get that victory. This was a very important fight for both of these guys because both of these guys had come out from losses. So this was a big, big comeback for both of them. And this is uh, what disappoints me about the sport of boxing is because, man, these young guys, they put it all on the line, you know? They put it all on the line. This reminded me of a fight like Raymond Ford versus Edward Velasquez on the zone. Do you guys remember that? Edward Vasquez was winning against Raymond Ford, and they gave it to Raymond Ford. I don't understand. I don't understand why. And like I said, it's very disappointing because these guys are launching their career, and they're putting their career on the line. They're, like, risking it all. You know what I'm saying? And to call it off and say it was, uh, you know, Chris Colbert won, at least give him a draw. To Jose Valenzuela, you know what I'm saying? At least give him that. But, you know, to not give him the fight when a lot of people know, the fans know, the commentator knew, I mean, even Showtime knew that the winner was El Rayo. I can't stress more about it. You guys already know. We're keeping it 100 here. Um, the fight, David Benavides versus Caleb Plant. It was a hell of a fight. It was exactly what I thought about that fight. I made a prediction. I said that I was giving the edge to Benavides 60-40, which exactly, that's exactly what happened. Caleb Plant has some good rounds. He looked pretty elusive. He looked quick in the, in the beginning of the rounds. David Benavides could not catch him. But that's exactly the turnaround that was going to happen was... David Benavides walking him down, giving him some body shots, and Caleb Plant slowing down, letting go of the gas pedal and slowing down. And that's exactly what happened. Also, Caleb Plant was doing a lot, a lot of hugging. I can honestly tell you guys that if Caleb Plant did not hug that much against David Benavides, Caleb Plant would have been on the canvas already. That's what hold him in the fight. That was pretty smart of him, I'll tell you that. But he didn't get any warning. You can tell right off the bat that Bayless was on Plant's favor. You know, he, he kept warning David Benavides, but he wasn't warning Plant on so much hugging. In the past, in the past fights, some people have had point deductions for hugging too much. I personally think that Caleb Plant needed that. But anyways... It was a hell of a fight. I give props to Caleb Plant for going all 12 rounds with David Benavides because he showed heart, he showed a warrior heart, and he gave us a hell of a fight for us, the boxing fans. So, the big question is, will David Benavides fight Canelo Alvarez in September? I'll tell you guys, if this Bebel versus Canelo doesn't go through. This is the fight, guys. This is a fight to be made. This is the big money fight at 168 pounds. It is a Canelo versus David Benavides. I know a lot of the boxing fans want that. I'm not even going to give my prediction, but all I'm going to say is this. What I saw in David Benavides against Caleb Plant, I still think he needs to tune to tweak a lot of things and his uh you know and his skills and his defense and his footwork and everything because I'll tell you guys 
Canelo Alvarez, if we get the same David Benavides that we saw, Canelo Alvarez can put him away. I'm just going to throw it out there. You guys might say I'm delusional and everything, but I'm telling you, he looks like a killer. Let's not forget, Canelo Alvarez has been the only man that has put Caleb Plant away in the 11th round. David Benavides looked like he beat up Caleb Plant more than Canelo Alvarez, but let's not forget that one of those one of those cuts was a headbutt. So he did beat him with his with his head as well. Canelo Alvarez's accuracy is solid. That's why he stopped Plant. Canelo Alvarez's defense is solid, and I would love to see this fight: David Benavides versus Canelo Alvarez. This seals the deal. This seals the deal. I mean, I already know. People already know that Canelo Alvarez is the real Mexican deal, undisputed champ at 168 pounds. He's the one that cleaned up the division in one year to become undisputed champ. And now David Benavides is making a run for it, and he's the next man on line for Canelo Alvarez to defend his titles. It will be a hell of a fight. Am I buying that one? 100%. But with that being said, let's keep on the loop for more boxing fights. You guys have a good one. Stay safe. Peace.